In the velvety cloak of darkness, where fear feeds the imagination, a house stands, Hell House. A beacon of horror literature, this chilling tale is the brainchild of acclaimed author Richard Matheson. In the still darkness, where shadows dance and whispers linger, Hell House looms ominously, a testament to the macabre. This is not just any haunted mansion. Hell House is a dwelling teeming with unspeakable horrors, a place that has claimed countless lives and sanity in its eerie silence. The novel unfurls as a team of investigators, each with their own motives and fears, dare to venture into this house of horrors. Their mission? To uncover the secrets that lie within its walls, to peel back the layers of terror and mystery that shroud Hell House. A chilling ambience wraps around the narrative, the tension palpable as we delve deeper into the eerie world that Matheson so masterfully creates. As the doors of Hell House creak open, what awaits inside is a tale that will chill your very soul. In the heart of this terror, four brave souls dare to tread. These are the characters who dare to venture into the sinister domain known as Hell House. First, we meet Dr. Lionel Barrett, a physicist and investigator of paranormal phenomena. A man of science, he's driven by a desire to debunk the myth of Hell House through rational explanations. But Hell House is no ordinary haunted mansion. Its shadows hold secrets that defy logic and reason. Next, we have Edith, Dr. Barrett's supportive yet apprehensive wife. Edith is a woman of deep intuition, and she senses the malevolence that lurks within the house's ancient walls. Yet she stands by her husband, her loyalty pushing her to face the unseen terrors. Then we have Florence Tanner, a physical medium who is sensitive to the spiritual energies that saturate Hell House. Florence is lured by the promise of making contact with the other side, of proving that life persists beyond death. However, her sensitivity becomes her downfall, as the house's malignant spirits exploit her openness to their advantage. Finally, there's Benjamin Fisher, the sole survivor of a previous expedition to Hell House. Scarred by his past experiences, he's reluctant to return to the house that nearly claimed his life. Yet the promise of a substantial reward compels him to face his fears and confront the house once more. Each character enters Hell House with their own motivations and perceptions. Yet, as they delve deeper into the house, they each face their own unique and horrifying experiences. Dr. Barrett's scientific skepticism is challenged. Edith's intuitive fears amplify. Florence's mediumistic abilities are manipulated, and Fisher's past traumas resurface. These experiences lead to a series of terrifying consequences. As the house's malevolent energies intensify, the characters are forced to confront not only the supernatural horrors of Hell House, but also their deepest, darkest fears and insecurities. Each character, trapped in their own web of terror, faces a horrifying reality that makes their blood run cold. The sinister walls of Hell House hold more than just ghostly apparitions. They reflect the haunting specters of the characters' own inner demons. Hell House, a mansion which has witnessed unspeakable horrors, now becomes the theater of terror for our characters. This grand yet forsaken place, steeped in a history of dread and despair, serves as the perfect stage for a chilling supernatural spectacle. Our characters, finding themselves in the throes of this haunted house, are plagued by a series of spine-chilling occurrences that defy logic and reasoning. The house seems to awaken, its malevolent soul stirring, as a series of manifestations begin to torment the characters. These manifestations, unseen yet terrifyingly real, are as unpredictable as they are terrifying. The terror doesn't stop there. Possession, a horrifying aspect of the supernatural world, soon becomes a terrifying reality for our characters. Their bodies become mere vessels, overpowered by the malevolent spirit of Hell House. They are forced to endure the unthinkable, their bodies and minds no longer under their control. Mental manipulation plays a crucial role in the haunting of Hell House. The mansion, with its dark and powerful force, starts to prey on the characters' fears and weaknesses. It exploits their insecurities, turning their minds into a battlefield of terror. Physical harm, a terrifyingly real consequence of the haunting, keeps the readers on the edge of their seats. The characters, once skeptical of the supernatural, are left with no choice but to confront the terrifying truth. They are trapped in a house that doesn't just haunt their minds, but also threatens their very existence. The suspenseful moments are relentless, each one more terrifying than the last. The characters, trapped in this labyrinth of horror, are left to question their sanity as the line between reality and nightmare blurs. 
In the deadly embrace of Hell House, the line between reality and nightmare blurs. This chilling tale of horror serves as a stark reminder of the power of the supernatural, a force that can turn even the bravest souls into helpless victims in the face of unrelenting terror. In the throes of terror and chaos, the climax of Hell House unfolds, leaving no soul untouched. The house, a character in its own right, has been playing a sinister game with its inhabitants, pushing them to the brink of sanity. As we inch closer to the climax, the house tightens its grip, its malevolent force becoming almost unbearable. Without revealing too much, let's just say that the culmination is an intense, hair-raising spectacle, the kind of horror that makes your blood run cold. The characters, each battling their own demons, are thrust into a vortex of fear and madness. Their fates are intertwined with the house, their destinies sealed within its haunted walls. In the aftermath, the survivors, if any, are left to pick up the pieces, forever scarred by their horrific ordeal. The echoes of their screams still resonate within the house, a chilling reminder of the terror they endured. The house remains, a looming specter of the past, its dark secrets buried deep within. The terrifying climax and its aftermath serve as a stark reminder of the power of fear and the lengths to which it can push us. It's a chilling exploration of the human psyche under extreme duress, a testament to the enduring horror that Hell House presents. Hell House, a tale of horror and suspense, leaves an indelible mark of terror, long after its chilling tale has ended. As we step out of the shadows of Hell House, the terror lingers. We've journeyed through a narrative that boasts suspense and horror at every corner. The characters, each memorable in their own right, have etched themselves into our minds. The chilling setting of Hell House has drawn us in, creating a haunting atmosphere that's truly unforgettable. Hell House isn't just a story, it's an experience. In the world of horror fiction, Hell House stands as a chilling testament to the power of fear and the unknown.